What's up guys, it's Adrian here and welcome back to another video. Have you ever wondered what qualities MBA admission officers are looking for in an MBA application? Generally, the application process is holistic and admissions officers look beyond the hard facts of test scores such as the GMAT or GRE and GPA. It's more about purpose and clarity in why you seek an MBA and how a school's program complements your goals. After all, business schools cater to the companies that hire from a business school. It's really those potential future employers that dictate the profile. If a potential employer wants more people with an engineering background, business schools will look to increase the percentage of the student population with an engineering background. And if companies start requesting more mature graduates, business schools will accept more applicants that are slightly older. In an application, you tell your story and highlight your unique traits and experiences. Business schools seek specific criteria in potential candidates and if you understand how to present your talents to fit that criteria, that can give you an edge in the application pool. And so you can craft a more outstanding application. Here are six universal attributes of a successful MBA applicant. Leadership potential. One of the most important factors is leadership potential. Especially for your resume and later for your interview with an admissions officer, you should be able to identify stories of specific scenarios in your professional experience that demonstrate strong leadership potential. Admissions officers want to see some evidence through real life examples. When thinking and crafting of some examples, Start with the big picture by setting the scene and then detail out what you did, why you did it, what impact it had on others and the final outcome. Think about recent positive situations and make sure your stories have a beginning, middle and end because it's all about storytelling. Authenticity. Admissions committees review thousands of MBA applications every admission cycle and I can tell you, they are experts in detecting lies. Do not force to come across as the perfect candidate for their MBA program. Not only will it be very unnatural, but it will also be very phony. Instead, try to be as genuine and authentic as possible. I totally understand you that you want to be perceived as the ideal candidate. I've been in your shoes before, but it's crucial to keep in mind that nobody's perfect and admissions officers know that. If you feel like some of the questions that you're being asked, whether it's in the essay or on the school's website, are not covering topics that you want to elaborate on, then you can still talk about additional information in the personal statement to tie all the pieces of your application together. Just make sure to avoid generic responses. It's very important to note here that you should not tell the story that you think the admissions committee wants to hear. Feel free to share a unique story, but it should be genuine. If you can craft a narrative that connects the dots of your background and previous life experiences to your future career goals and that demonstrates self-awareness and thoughtfulness, that will put you in a great spot. Fit. At the end of the day, business schools want students who fit their values and can contribute to their community. Whether it's in your essays, recommendation letters or interviews, be sure to align your goals and ambitions to the business school that you're applying to. And every business school is different and asks for different experiences. So don't just copy and paste your answers. Pursuing an MBA also means joining a lifelong network. Admissions officers want to understand how you resonate with their community values, including curiosity, diverse perspectives and flexibility. Admissions committees are looking for the next generation of future leaders. And this means demonstrating how you addressed a problem, developed a solution and how you inspired and motivated others to take action. And most importantly, how have you demonstrated the ability to create value? And because fit is so important, you will see that a lot of business schools have alumni and current students conduct their interviews with MBA candidates to make sure the right candidates are being selected for their programs. Be prepared to explain how your career plans post-graduation align with the program and can benefit from the school's career services, network, community and overall resources to take that next step. Ideally, there should be a natural connection between your professional background, your goals and how a school's resources can help you get there. 
Quantitative Competency. A business or economics undergraduate degree isn't required to apply to an MBA program, but demonstration of quantitative competency is important. That's why business schools ask for standardized test scores from your GMAT or GRE. And you would be surprised, but a lot of MBA students do not have a business or economics related undergraduate degree, at least not in the US. I would say in Europe, it's slightly more common and people do have business or economics related undergraduate degrees, but it's certainly not a requirement. The reasons why admissions officers want to know about quantitative competency is because they want to make sure that candidates can succeed in an MBA classroom. And this demonstrated through work experience that led to results in organizational impact or scoring high on the quantitative section of the GMAT or GRE. Other ways to show quantitative competency include strong recommendation letters or essays that articulate how you've applied quantitative reasoning in various environments and how you might leverage these skills in an MBA classroom. Communication skills. I would say communication skills are probably one of the most important skills one can have. Knowing how to effectively communicate is an important soft skill for MBA candidates and their future careers. From your essays to your resume to your interview, you will need to demonstrate your ability to convey your thoughts clearly and effectively. These skills will later serve you in the classroom and in your business career. Solid communication skills are at the heart of our ability to interpret, share feedback and build consensus in diverse cultural landscapes for decision making, building strong working relationships and working collaboratively in teams. Recommenders. Don't underestimate the importance of recommendation letters. It's not that admissions committees just check the box without reading these letters. In fact, recommendations give a third party glimpse into your profile. So select recommenders who know you and your abilities and aspirations good enough and can highlight your talents. Recommendation letters ideally detail how you work with others and how you approach challenges and how you've made an impact in your role. If you're being asked for two recommendations, pick individuals who have observed your work in different capacities so they can showcase a variety of examples of your engagement and contribution. Because big data has been a thing over the last decade and data analytics is becoming increasingly more important year over year, a recommender could emphasize your ability to analyze and present data. Have your recommenders provide an example of how you demonstrated that skill. So to sum this up, leadership, authenticity, fit, quantitative competency, communication skills and recommendation letters are the most important attributes of your MBA application. If you can highlight those properly, then you will have high chances to be admitted to your dream school. And with that said, thanks for checking out this video. As always, if you like this content and got value out of it, please feel free to hit the like button down below for the almighty YouTube algorithm. And on your way down there, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. That's it for today and I'll see you in the next video.